Hello guys and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. This is Trigger and today we are going to be making a mob spawner slash killer, whatever you want to call it, mob dropper. It's got all kinds of different names that you can call it by. So we're going to go ahead and get started today. Okay, as you can tell, this one right here is going to be a big build. You don't have to do it quite as big as I did when it comes to, you know, if you want to do it half this size, you can do it half this size. Um, but it, it does kind of come down to a little bit of, you know, where everything's being placed, depending on how you want to build it. You can build it a couple different ways. I've got two different ways here. Both of them obviously do require a ceiling. Um, this side over here is using water being pushed out by dispensers. And then they've got buckets in there too, as you can tell so that way when the clock turns right back around it will actually pick that water back up I suggest for now until they get the water glitch fixed I suggest not using this method for the sole reason that every once in a while a random water source block will spawn like out here and then the water will go all the way down to the ground and then you're not killing anything you're not getting anything out of it so I suggest holding off on this method until they actually fix it but if you think you can do it and your worlds aren't doing what mine seem to be doing and spawning the random water blocks go ahead and do it this way I will show you both ways now this side over here actually uses instead of water to push them off so that way they just fall off on their own accord now if you do that you don't have to have the teeth in here if you don't want them you can just do a one solid line um, I just like the looks of the teeth I think they look kind of cool and then obviously both sides you are going to need a roof on it. I just put the roof on this side to kind of give you a detailed look in there. You can make this multiple tiers high if you would like. That's why I've got this running up on the side. I will show you the redstone to be able to get this to work properly um, if you want to go with the water. So we're going to go ahead and get started over here today. So what you're going to need for this build, you're going to need a building block. I'm going to use blocks of iron. You can use whatever you would like. Um, you're also going to need... Um, trap doors if you're going to be doing the trap door method now if you would rather go the redstone method and do the dispensers with the buckets of water you're going to also need redstone torches you're going to need hoppers dispensers repeaters comparators sticky pistons you're going to need two sticky pistons and a block of redstone and then you're also going to need i use 50 blocks of whatever item it is that's stackable up to that number so that way you can set up the hopper clock to be able to work it. So we're going to get started right up top here. I've already got a block conveniently floating in the middle of the air. Um, this is 23 blocks high. If you want it to where the mobs die, you need it to be at least 23 blocks high to be able to do so. If you would rather them be like a one hit one to kill them, go down one block and do it at 22 blocks. But we are going to do this one today at 23, just because I prefer my stuff dead when I get there. So, to build this, you're going to need to take this starting point and come 6 in this direction to the side. So, total of 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, you're going to come out by 1, and you're going to come back by 10. So, 1, 2, and there is 10. And then you're going to put another one on the inside here, and you're going to come back by six again. So one. Okay, so now we got this side laid out pretty basic. Now, to go across, you are going to need to take, and you want to actually bring that out seven on each side. I forgot about the wall in the back. So you're going to need to put a wall in the back. So go ahead and come out seven on each side over here. So instead of six, do seven. Now to come across the sides here, you are going to need a total of 31 blocks. So this is 1, 2, 3, 29, see? And 7, and then out by 1, and then across by 8, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Or, I'm sorry, ten, nine, and ten. And then in seven again. Four, five, six, seven. Should line up. And now you just come straight. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill it in. Everything is going to get filled in from this point to this point right up against here. Everything on this inside wall here is actually going to be left open. So leave this open right here. And then same thing on this side. We're going to fill in from there to there all the way down through. And I will be back with you guys as soon as I... Okay, welcome back. So now we do have our platform laid out for where we are going to be basically putting everything. So now to start, you're going to need to put walls around this. Now the walls need to be three high, okay, um, at the very least. But this bottom layer here goes a little specific. You're going to start here on the corner. You're going to go one, two, and three, and then leave a spot. One. Okay, so now that you got that laid out, your second layer back here goes just like a normal layer would, right straight across, and same thing with your third layer. So you're going to do that on this side, you're going to build up three high on all of these sides here, and then you're going to do the same thing on this side that we did over there with three and then leave a spot, three and then leave a spot. Now the only time you do the three and then you leave a hole like this is if you are going to do the dispenser method because that is we, where we are going to be placing it. Okay, so the only time you want to do that is if you are actually going to use the buckets of water and the dispensers. If you're going to be using the trap doors, then what you do is you just do a solid wall all the way across because you don't need the dispensers need to be pushing them off with water if you've got the trap doors in there. Um, and survival, I suggest using the trap doors. It's a lot cheaper. It doesn't cost as much. You don't have to build dispensers. You don't have to use redstone. You don't have to use any of that stuff. You can just sit here and use trap doors that you make out of wood. And you can build this out of dirt for all that matters. That's what I actually built one of my first ones on survival with is dirt and trap doors. And it worked out amazing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and build the walls up three high on each side here, and I will be right back with you. Okay, so now that we have our walls built here three high on every side, now you can take and if you are using the dispensers or if you are using the trap doors, you can take and you can build the ceiling over top of it. So we're just going to go ahead and fill in the ceiling. Now if you are going to do this multiple layers high, just don't fill in this section here. Okay, you don't fill that section in here until you end up getting up to your top tier. So if you're doing it two tiers, three tiers, four tiers, it does not matter, you leave this open right here until you get all the way up to the tippy top and then when you get up to the tippy top, then you place the full ceiling all the way across the whole thing. So I'm gonna do this one as if I'm doing two tiers here. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna, what I am gonna build is I'm gonna build you guys a two tier one today. Okay, welcome back, and as you can tell, I did build the second tier of this on here, including this. Now, this side over here is where we're going to be putting in night vision potions. So you can see in here a little bit better. So now we're going to take this top side. We're going to go ahead and put dispensers in on this wall over here, too. So now we got the dispensers in here. So we got the dispensers on this side. This is going to be the side that we're going to do the water on. And then this side over here is going to be the side where we do the trap doors on. So now what you're going to do for the trap doors, you're just going to go ahead and place them right alongside the front edge here.
work with. Now on this side, okay, so we got our dispensers put in. Now we need to make sure that the water doesn't actually fall off of this. And at the same time, we also need to make sure that everything is getting put. So what we're going to do is you're going to come in one block and you're going to place a block. You're going to come from that and you're going to place two. And then you're going to place one again. So it's going to look like a, kind of like a tooth. I like to call them teeth, okay? So it's one, two, one. Skip a block. One. Almost like you're dancing. Skip a block and then one, two, one. Okay, so now we got the teeth in there. The water will actually flow right up to the edge of these and not fall off the bottom. Um, unless you do get one of those random source blocks that ends up spawning into here. So now we're going to go ahead and to keep as much of the darkness in here as possible to make sure stuff is spawning. There's two different things you can do. You can do like I did over here and you can just kind of place like a wall around the bottom of it underneath here, okay? Um, at least three blocks down, I like to go at, I like to do four. Um, but at the same time, if you're doing it in survival, another thing you can do because it's kind of hard to do something like this in survival. So what I like to do is I like to just take the outline of, let's say, this second block in here. And I like to actually, I'll just build a wall right from the bottom. I'll just go right from the bottom down there. And I'll build a solid wall all the way up. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Now, it doesn't have to be a solid wall. You could just come up and make sure that there's at least four blocks down to make sure that the sun isn't actually coming up from the bottom and into there. Okay? So you're going to want at least a four block wall all the way around the bottom of this to help make sure that these things are going to spawn and they're going to spawn in a pretty good number rather than randomly spawning everything. So now that we've got the dispensers in here, now what we need to do is get a bunch of buckets of water. And place a bucket of water in each dispenser. Now, I'm not going to place them in the same What I am actually going to do is I'm going to show you. So, I got some wool here just to kind of help show the circuits. A little. So, you're going to come on the outside right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build it on the same side like this is over here. So you're going to come all the way from this side here. Come straight across the back side of these hoppers dispensers. Go right straight across. We're going to go one past this dispenser right here. So we're going to go one past it. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the top side. So we're going to go one past it and come back all the way to the... And then what you do is you would repeat it on this side over here, just like this side. You see how this side over here has it? and this side over here has it. So it's going to be the exact same process on both sides. But because we are doing two different types of mob droppers here, I'm only going to do it on this half. So now you're going to take, and you can use still use your building block. You don't have to use wool. Anymore. But I'm going to use the wool just to show you the difference here. Of wool. You're going to come all the way out to here. And then this is going to be your building block for where you are going to have. I've got mine right here set up. If you do need a tutorial on how to build a hopper clock, I do have the hopper clock tutorial put up. So we are going to go ahead and build our hopper clock over here. So 
Now we're going to go ahead and place a hopper here. Okay, so there's our hopper clock. Now we're just gonna go ahead and play a repeater right there because this signal strength is only one. A hopper only gives off one signal strength so that comparator pushes off one signal strength through that block to this right here. So now you're gonna need the comparator, I'm sorry, the repeater to go further and then we're Right here, I like to put another one. And now we are going to come down through here. You will hear the dispensers go. And that is why I do not like putting in. That is why I do not like putting in the water buckets yet. I'd rather wait until we have the red. So I'm going to go ahead and place a block there. It's a redstone torch. don't actually need a block there leave it though so now what's going to happen is is this is basically just reversing the signal so this is on it doesn't change anything within the hoppers while it just stays on but then once that clock goes it's going to go ahead and more time allowing this torch to light up and then shut back up dispense dropper or dispenser so now we're going to place a block of wool above that break that block right there place a redstone torch another block there torch on each side of that block right there son of a bitch Okay, so now that we got this set up with the two redstone torches there, and then coming up through just like that, so a torch on the inside of that block going to that redstone torch, and two torches up here. The reason you need two is you're going to have this signal coming off everything up top. And it does reach the bottom. Okay. Now you don't have to have this last piece on. to the block that is behind that dispenser. So that is the redstone aspect of it. Now you can just copy this on the other side if you are doing dispensers on both sides. Okay. And what you do is you just copy the same thing on this side of the hopper clock also. Now just because I hate that ticking noise. So, that is the redstone aspect of the mob dropper with, and we already have the trap doors set up on the inside without the dispensers. The reason why I like without the dispensers is a water glitch where the water randomly anywhere in here next to now, if you do want to take and have it to where it automatically picks it up for you, um, I personally like to do that because I don't want to keep running back into this thing every five seconds to see what else you're going to do is you're just going to come right all the way down to the ground. And 
now this is gonna be your inner wall basically do your hoppers and you're just gonna pick a random spot and it's gonna be your chest we have a chest and then you just your hoppers going along now do realize though that this here is one less block so this means they're only gonna fall 22 blocks you do want to have the hopper set up and you already have yours 23 blocks high you are going to have to take it and dig down in just so that way you have them still die when they actually you don't want them to stay alive if you want them to fall and die you want it to be at least 23 blocks from where this hopper is the bottom of this floor is. That way they die on impact. So, that is the conclusion of the tutorial here today. If you do have any further questions, uh, leave a comment down in there. If you have any suggestions, comments, anything like that, feel free to comment it. Please like and rate the video. And as always, hit that big red subscribe button.